The purpose of this video is to show, or tutorial, is to show how uh, an online uh, a graphing calculator application called the Desmos. So this is the website that you can browse to, just www.desmos.com slash forward slash calculator. And so it's an online graphing calculator. Um, this is what it will look like when you first start. It has a basic, uh, uh, well, negative 10. Uh, you can actually draw this down, like almost 10. I mean, it goes above 10. Uh, axes. And you can change that. Um, this is the uh, keypad right here. And uh, so that's how you can type things in. Or you can just use your keyboard if you're just using it on a normal computer. So let's say I wanted to, and I'm going to use the keypad. I'm going to use my type, my uh, keyboard a bit too. So let's say I was, uh, I'm going to graph a function. Um, it starts with uh, $500. It's a, uh, this is a business application, but you can use it for a lot more than this. So let's say you have $500 and you're investing it. Let's say you're earning 1.5% interest per month. So that's what we would do. And then it would be to the power of, notice I went after the bracket and the power of, and I'll call X time. We normally put X on, uh, on this axis here and uh, Y up here. So, so that's my function. Now, it starts at $500, so you can't see where it starts because it's too high. And I could just pull the graph here. In fact, if you have this application on your uh, Android phone, or, well, any phone, I suppose, you can actually just do the, pull the, the, the axis apart using two fingers, and, and that can work, but there's a better way to do it than that. So I'm just going to go back to... Uh, so up here, where it says graph settings, so um, on the x-axis, I'm going to put time and months. And the y-axis, I'm going to put, I'll call it A for the amount, and uh, in dollars. And so I want time. Now, I'm really not interested in any negative time. But just so I can see the axes, I might change this. That's the left-hand number. See, that's about negative 9.1. So that's actually that number right there. So maybe I'll uh, change that to negative 2, just so it's a little bit below 0. And maybe we'll, go, we'll make sure we go up to a year. So maybe I'll type in 13 or 14 months. Okay. And then the uh, amount, of course, it can't be negative, but maybe I want to see the horizontal axis. So maybe I'll, uh, I'll type in, uh, I'm just using my keyboard for this. Whoops, uh, wrong spot, sorry. So I'll type in maybe negative 100 and going up to, oh, well, it starts at $500, go up to maybe 700 something like that. You can also specify a step here too. And once you've got those typed in, okay, so uh, we can see zero up to 14 months. Uh, if you want to, you could actually actually uh, click on any point in the graph. So I clicked on it. Actually, it's a little bit difficult to get right on an even month, but that is telling me that after two months, it's worth $515.10. So it is difficult to get right on, but you know, if you pull your mouse just a little bit, you can. Okay, so there, one month would be 507.50. Um, there's a much easier way to do it than that. So um, one of the options you have here is to create a table. And actually, uh, you can retype this. I'm just going to copy the 500 times 1.015 to the power of x. And so I'm going to make a table down below here. And in place of the y, I'm going to put that same function. So remember, at, at one month, this was telling me that it was worth 507.50. And so after two months, it's worth $515.11. After three months, it's worth this. Four, five, six, maybe I'll skip to 12. 12 is almost of $600, not quite. So notice every time I do that, it's actually showing me those points. So uh, that's why, where those points are coming from, because it's the points I generated in my table. So uh, that's something you can do to, uh, like if you want to calculate a specific value. Now the other thing you might want to do is, well, maybe you want to know when exactly is the value of the investment up to, let's say, $550. So... Um, See, this was 538, 546, so it's probably just past six months a bit. And see, 12 months was up to 597.81. Don't forget to round here, so that 9 would make that uh, 80 round up to an 81.
So what you could do in another function is just type in y equals, and I said 550. Okay. So there's my 550 line, and notice it put a little gray point there. So that's showing me that those two lines intersect at 6.402 comma 550, which means that the first uh, curve at 6.4 months, it would be up to a value of $550. So you can find intersections of lines fairly nicely or curves uh, using that function as well. So it's actually showing you where they cross. So um, now you can take screenshots um, uh, using this. Uh, I'm using Windows 7, so I might just choose the uh, snipping tool. And uh, so this is very convenient if you want to stick this in a, in a, a text document, for example. So um, here's my snipping tool, by the way. So you click on New if you doesn't do this already. And all I'd have to do, for example, if I wanted this, is just highlight that. And it gives me a nice image that I could paste in a Word document or a text document otherwise. Now, you actually can run this phone. It's actually just running inside a browser. So I'm not installing an application to run it. Uh, for example, I took this screenshot from my Samsung Galaxy 4. So that's an Android phone. And uh, now slightly different... Uh, a function I typed in here, but you can see it's accomplishing exactly the same thing. There's a table, there's part of the graph, it's showing you the dots. So same idea. Um, and of course, it should work on your iPhone because it's just running inside a, uh, a browser as well. Or a Chromebook, for example. So uh, it will perform all the same functions uh, as the graphic calculator or, or Winplot, for example. So here's my uh, uh, actually, I guess I've got uh, a slightly different function here, but it works exactly the same way. In the graph and calculator, you're actually just using the trace to find things. So, for example, at, uh, now notice I have a different function here. I have 1.02. I could edit that just to show that it works exactly the same as the one we have here. And I want to insert a 5. And so let's duplicate one of these, maybe at five months, the 538, 6.64 cents. Trace, five months, enter. So there's the 538.642. Same data point is right there. So it works the same way. So uh, that's a little bit about uh, using uh, Desmos. And again, it works inside a browser. So it should work on literally any device. And I'm using Chrome here for my browser. But you should be able to use uh, Firefox. Or you should be able to use Internet Explorer. Whatever works for you on your particular device. And that's the end of the video.